Hola! Welcome to my hiking show, Hiking With Me. And man, what a beautiful trail this is. Although you have to be very careful this time of the year because it's rattlesnake season. And uh, they could be very dangerous. We saw one on the trail before and uh, it's a little scary. It was a baby rattlesnake. And they're the most dangerous because they have much more venom in them. And well, quite frankly, they're spoiled. It's a baby. They want everything, including you. Yeah, when I see a rattlesnake though, I tell everybody, I warn them if they're coming the other way. So watch out, there's a rattlesnake on the trail. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, never stop. I could get like, you know, 50 yards away. There's a rattlesnake back there, 100, half a mile away. Watch out around the corner, there's a rattlesnake. I get home and I warn everybody, hey, there's a rattlesnake out there. Don't leave the house. It's ridiculous. And the rattlesnake's probably home in bed by then. I'm a good guy, that's all. We got a great hike today, so strap on your boots, take some caffeine, and why don't we go take a hike? Hiking off to that side of me today is a gentleman who has done it all. He really has. He's even worked with me back in the 1900s. We did a sitcom together. Didn't last long. You know him from Second City TV. You know him from Schitt's Creek. And today, we're hoping to go find Schitt's Creek. Put it out for Eugene Levy. Hey, Eugene. Kevin. Hey, buddy. Thanks for doing the hike. I didn't know it was today. It was. Well, I... <laughs> yes, it's today. How long were you in there? I, well, we, we don't have to get into that, but um, come on, let's go. Would you consider yourself a loner? Uh, I, I don't know how you would get that impression. Um, but uh, I do enjoy time uh, by myself, yeah. you know? I mean, I, I, like, uh, I, I like the company right. when I'm by myself, right. you know? I like to, uh, I consider it dealing with a better class of people. When you sleep at night, is it pajamas? Is it in the nude? Or, or pajamas. Or pajamas, if you're from Chicago. I, I actually prefer uh, a night shirt. A night shirt? Yeah. And do you carry one of those candles and a little... <laughs> no, no, but I did. My character, I wore a night shirt on, uh, on uh, Schitt's Creek and the first time I wore it in a scene and walk in to wake up my kids. My son uh, turned around and said, Give my regards to Bob Cratchit. <laughs> what do you do after this hike? You go back to the house and what? Take a nap? Hit the bottle. Hit the bottle. Yeah. Eugene. Yes. <laughs> I should warn you <clears throat> that Every this is snake season. Now you gotta be really careful and watch the path in front of us because I'm just I'm doing a lot of other stuff over here. So I'm gonna put you on snake control. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> By the way, hey, this, this is, is actually a hike. No, this. <laughs> no, you said this is a walk. Well, well yeah, you have to walk. You said to join me hike. for a walk. And we, only, now we've got a hill. This is like uh, Mount Ararat or something. <laughs> well, I always do that to. Well, you can't do that to a man of my age. <laughs> I do that to entice my hikers to come. So this you, is, you, by the way, you, this is the only hill except for one more which is smaller than this i swear to you oh uh well luckily i'm in uh i'm in great shape so i just have to we just have to stop for one second yeah just catch my breath okay that's okay you're all right, right yeah you're here right? we go yeah okay uh, so it's kind of like uh like a carpool karaoke thing no but it's not even that. You're not in. It's not even that. No, it's more like a Bear Grylls kind of a thing. You familiar with him? I mean, yeah. if you had to compare it to something, it would be that. But he doesn't take the chances that I take. I I, I think I disagree with that. Really? Well, I, unless something's you know coming up that is going to be a bit of a surprise. Well, you know, see. in terms of danger. Do you think you could survive in the woods alone? Because I'm about to leave. <laughs> uh, well, this. See what I mean? You sure you? This is the challenge that I was wow. talking about. 
Well, that's a steep climb. It's not that high. To just keep talking as we go up this thing? Yeah, we're gonna interview as we go up. All right. As we go up. Um, and you don't even need the ropes because you're in pretty good shape, right? Uh... So four years, you've been doing this and you chat and you uh, bring people out and you chat. Who was your very first guest, may I ask? Matthew Modine. And then who was your second guest? Um, Do you remember? Well, I was asking all my friends, so I just had Matthew. Well, uh, this is good. Well, just let just 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 shows people how close we are because this is season four. Yeah, it is. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, no, no well, I know you asked me a, a, a while ago. Yeah, that shows you how good we're Two, friends. Three we never weeks called ago. back. Now I'm going to say I lost your. I know. Uh, I know. I've heard them all. Yeah, okay. But you weren't around because you were busy doing sheet or shit. Yeah, Creek. yeah, yeah. But yeah, how's Schitt's it pronounced? Creek. Schitt's this Creek. is true. I was, I was uh, six, uh, uh, six years. I spent most of that time in uh, Toronto where we shot the show. And where you're from, right? And where I also uh, was from. Technically, not from Toronto, from Hamilton, but I lived in Toronto for a good many years, and that's right. where my home is. Okay, here's the other hill. It's not that bad. Oh my God. This is why I call myself not an outdoorsman, because this to me is just for, you know, animals. <laughs> this is what I call animal country. Would you say you're more of an indoors person? Uh, I'd say I'm more of a, more of a, a city person. City folk. Yeah. Let's and go. oddly enough, I'm doing uh, a travel show now <laughs> called <laughs> The Reluctant Traveler. So we have uh, really terrific production values on that show. Anytime you want to take Not a rest. Not that this isn't. <laughs> Guys, hold on. High Guys, you got the, uh, got the audio going? Okay, good. <laughs> Let's bring that good. crane in just a little bit to get it. <clears throat> you ever injure yourself? Not on purpose. <laughs> um, I, uh, um, I accidentally uh, sliced off part of my thumb when I was working at a hamburger joint. Did you? Yeah, on the pickle slicer. Did it fall into the hamburger? Yeah, I, it fell into the pickles. Uh, and I left it in there because I didn't particularly care for the guy I was working for. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. You came up with Schitt's Creek with your son, Dan. <clears throat> yeah. And had you ever worked with him before? No. And was it a nightmare? No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh, we, you know, he's they, this kid never came to me for literally anything. Yeah, if he was doing a play in high school, you know, I would say, boy, how's it going? Uh, do you want me to run lines with you? No. Yeah. No, I got it. I got, I got it. <clears throat> okay, that's good. And that happened a couple of times. Now I got it. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. And I got the impression that this is not something where there's going to be a lot of father-son, uh, you know, collaborations on anything. Right. Because he's got it. You know, he yeah. didn't want to work with me. Now, of course, he, he, although I didn't necessarily quite put this together myself at the time. Whose idea was it? The show? Yeah. Uh, it was Daniel's idea. Okay. The idea was a wealthy family loses its money. That's what we started with. Yeah. So we started working on it. So when he came to me and said, do you want to work on an idea that I had? I was tickled. And then we started working together. And, uh, and I, I said to myself, okay, you've got to do everything you can to make this happen. 
like this this we've got to get this show on the air and that was it but then i got but then i got <clears throat> i would wake up at night with kind of a cold sweat thinking well what if he doesn't have any talent <laughs> what if did you see him in the school play yeah no no but as a writer we're writing this show together yeah you know this is a weekly you know True. comedy scripted show so I thought, well, you know, what do I do if he, if he doesn't have any talent? Do I, uh, do I sit him down and just say this isn't going to work? Because you just don't have it, or do I not say anything, and we just keep working, knowing nothing's going to happen with this thing? Right. And lo and behold. Kind of. Yeah. Lo and behold, did. he did have it. And uh, and that was it. And he developed very quickly as a writer and a producer. And then I um, I kind of stepped back because he didn't really need me. Yeah. Kind of getting in the way. Um, where does Shit's Creek taste take place? Have you, is there a real Shit's Creek? No. You know, people have described it as being a Canadian city yeah. because. We shoot the show in Canada. You shoot the shit. We shoot the shit. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. That's good. Thank that's you. a play off the off yeah. the word. And yours is a play off of the uh, piece of poop. Shit. Yes. Exactly. Although that's the one word that we actually have never used in the show at all. No kidding. Is the word shit. And it's spelled differently. Well, the name shit. It's spelled S C H I T T. Yeah. The name shit is a is a real name that you can find in just about any phone book. Are you serious? Around the world, yes. Oh, can you imagine having that last name? Uh, I can't. Uh, but there are people. You'll see a lot of shits in the phone book. <laughs> if you, if uh, yeah, you gonna have a problem with sensors on this? No. Show. That, that is an actual name, Irish Derivation. In fact, we discovered after we started doing the show that there actually is a town in Ireland called Schitt's Creek. Uh, an actual little dot that says Schitt's Creek. Yeah. Um, so that's the name, and that's uh, literally how we got to use the name uh, on our Canadian uh, broadcaster, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, the CBC. You know what's funny? They weren't, I, they weren't that thrilled with the actual weren't. title of the show. Because they didn't know how you were spelling it. Uh, well, they did. We made that clear, but they said, well, and we said, well, it's somebody's name. You know, if you're on the news and you got a story about, yeah. you know, you got to say Earl shit right and that's his name you wouldn't you know you wouldn't super his name on yeah. in the bottom of the screen yeah. do you like going to award shows because you guys won a couple of awards right um i don't i'm not you know i'm really not crazy about award shows i'm not a crazy i'm not crazy about going out period is that true kind of big things yeah yeah you know because you know I'm not as your audience is finding out I'm not really a social animal I'm not really uh what another drone <laughs> I'm just stopping oh to uh turn around to turn around you happy with that yeah is that the show is that it <laughs> oh wait no you were we're continuing? Go back the other way oh okay <laughs> okay Watch out for the poison ivy and the poison oak here too, by the way. <laughs> you, go to, you go to public uh, pools wearing a bathing suit ever? Thank you, Eugene Levy. We can all rest assured that Eugene is home safe and sound now. He doesn't have to socialize with anybody or mix or mingle. And what a career Eugene has had. I mean, everything from being a garbage man, well, sanitation engineer, I call it, to uh, doing Schitt's Creek. 
And by the way, we cannot find Schitt's Creek today. Maybe another time. Thanks for joining our hike. Please subscribe, tap that little notification, do that. We'll catch you next time. Happy trails. Uh, um, um, I, um, I, and, uh, um,